Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Cars on Cloud. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a, a Windows 10 bootable USB drive. So if you have issues with with your Windows computer, your laptop, your desktop, and you, you are not able to, um, to boot it up, maybe you get a blue screen or you forget the password. So this process will show you um, how to uh, boot it up and, and, and repair it. So now let's get started. First of all, you need at least a minimum of 8 gig of USB drive. Minimum 8 gigs. So I got this USB drive here. It's 32 gigs, I think. So I'm going to format it. First of all, you have to format it. Make sure it's clean. Go to properties. As you can see, I have uh, 32 gigs. Free space is zero. So I'm going to right click and then go to format. 28 gigs. It's going, to, you're going to choose NTFS. Make sure choose NTFS. Allocation file size. I'm going to leave it as default allocations. And the volume, it's going to be Windows 10. And the format options can be quick format. So click on start, click OK. The drive is used by another process running on it. You want to format? Yes. I don't need anything on this um, USB drive, so confirm. It's going to take a few seconds, I think, less than a minute. Alright, look like the format has been completed. I'm going to click OK. Alright, so here it is. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to download Windows 10 uh, Windows 10 ISO files. Let's go to this link here. So if you, if you go to google.com, um, just type in download Windows 10 ISO, and then uh, you should see the the link to, uh, it's going to be at the very top, Windows, download Windows 10 disk image. Click on that one. And you want to click on download tool now. As you can see, it has been downloaded. Let's go open it up. So what you need to do is you want to double click on it. I'm going to minimize my browser. All right, now let's accept license and terms. We're going to accept. So you get these two options. One is to upgrade this PC now. And then the second one is create the installation of USB, DVD, or ISO files. So we're going to create USB flash drive. As you can see, you have an option to create a DVD bootable as well. Now click, click Next. Language. So make sure you uh, uncheck this box. Make sure you choose the language you want. Editions, Windows 10, there's no other choice or no other choices. Architecture, x64, you have an option to do both or 32-bit. Make sure you uncheck this box just to confirm and then click Next. As you can see here, USB flash or ISO file. Go with USB flash. It's required 8 gigs. If you do ISO file, um, it's going to require around 8 gig as well. Click next. So it's going to be in the 
removable drive here, E drive, which is my volume. Click next. So now it's extracting to the USB drive. Let's take a look. It's probably going to take some time. So we'll come back. We'll call, um, I'm going to pause the recording and, and uh, come back when, when it's finished. We had 66%. All right, look like the USB flash drive is ready. I'm going to close it out. Let's take a look at the contents. Here it is. I'm going to boot from one of my computer, which is my laptop. Let's pause the recording and we'll continue with the boot options. So here you need to connect the uh, your USB stick to one of your um, USB on your laptop or your computer. So once you connect it, you need to hit. I'm sorry, you need to hit F12. It all depends on your manufacturer model, but since I have Dell. When I hit F12, it gives me these options here. Um, boot mode sets to a U UFI secure boot, and it's also give me an options to choose um, the USB USB drive as a second one. So I'm gonna hit enter. It's booting from the USB drive now. So as you can see here, I have an option to install Windows. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to hit Next. And Options to Install or Options to Repair. If you want to wipe, wipe clean and install it, just go ahead and click on Install. This will install Windows 10 on your computer. Or you can choose the options here to repair. So if you click repair, there's more options um, you can choose. One is to continue and exit Windows, or use use a device, use a USB device and network connection for Windows screen recovery, or you can troubleshooting, reset or reset your PC, or see advanced options. Let's click on this one. Here's more options. You can start start up repair. Command prompt, uninstall updates, and also UFI firmware and system restore or system image recovery. So these are the options available for you um, to fix your own uh, laptop or computers. So that's it. Thank you very much. If you like the video, please don't forget to subscribe and have a great day.